Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you about the session layer. It is the fifth layer of OSI reference model, and this layer provides the mechanism for opening, closing, and managing a session between end user application process. And now I am coming to here. If we consider this as the machine and this as a server, machine means for example laptop or mobile, server means network, Wi-Fi, some other networks, etc. If the machine want to connect to the server, will send a request to the server. So the server will verify the details of the user. Suppose, for example, if we want to connect to an a Wi-Fi, what it will ask? It will ask us the password. If the password is correct, um, then only it will allow us to access the Wi-Fi. So the it will check our identity. So the process of checking identity is called as authentication. And then after checking that, we'll enter into the home page. In that home page, we can access the options we can use. But we are not allowed to access all the options that have been in that app application. A set of privileges is called as authorization. Uh, if we use suppose uh, banking apps like phone pay or paytm etc um, there will will when we open the home page after completing our login process we'll when we open them we'll see the options like pay recharge etc those are called as privileges and we have a another important thing in this is session restoration session restoration it means um, we'll have some of the apps like chrome gmail firefox etc if we log in once into these apps it will not ask again and again to log in us again and again into the app uh, it, if we log in once it will restore its data in that and it will ask us to reload the pages what we have saved first and suppose if, if we take another apps like phone pay or paytm if we have logged out once it will ask again and again to log in again and again because of its security issues all apps will not be on the same pro process the system may be different and to one another next thing is checking points checking points means let us take an example of youtube you have taken a video to download uh, which is of 400 mb see let us take a video which is of 400 mb in 0 to 400 now you have you have kept the video downloaded a uh, video to download and <clears throat> it started downloading and it downloaded up to 250 mb at the 250 mb you have an obstacle like uh, data of today's is completed or else you have got a call and it stopped in middle etc etc when you click on the video again to download, it will start from some MB, like 200 MB. Because this is the checking point. There will be some checking points due to this session layer. It will help us to start from the from that checking point. It will not start from zero again. So, it will start where it has stopped. From the near checking point. And then next it example is of webinar means web conferencing web conferencing example live tv so in normal live tv there will be found some problems like without having lip sync it means it won't have synchronization like the video will be faster than the audio but in this webinar, it will provide the synchronization. It provides synchronization. So, it 
provides the synchronization so there will be a lip sync and it will have the flow of control because of its flow of control it will be in sync because of flow of control and these are the responsibilities of the session layer and one more thing is the session layer is does not depends upon the system because it is not the responsibility of the system it is a responsibility of the application so this is about the session layer